three, four. <laughs> The debut show, Dad's Corner, and we're going to get right into it right now. We're doing the uh, confrontation slash uh, intervention. Okay. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> did not like uh, how you were slating the players. Now, I know, let's get into the comments first. Uh, I got one from Nicholas Carp. Pastilis, I don't know, I don't think I pronounced it right there. He says, I don't like how your dad slates the players. You can't spell his name. I can't. How the hell can I answer his question? <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, Nicholas. Okay, so, uh, yeah, the, the, the comments that went in there also, because there were some people that were taking your side, too. Uh, Carl Heath was saying, so, do you want his dad to praise the players who are having a bad game? Get a grip, mate. His dad is a fan, and he has his own opinion. You should respect What's that. What's his name? Carl Heath. Carl? I think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> and uh, Chris Leota said, that's just being a passionate fan. Very hard to control the emotions during the game. All right. Can we delete all those that don't agree with me? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. A lot, there's a, quite a few on those ones. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean... You know, you have some criticism that's right, but I think you overdo it sometimes. But now you get the floor. What do you, What is your reaction to... Okay, Wijnaldum you're wrong about, but what about Origi? What about this Origi flack? Before we get into this... Yeah. Let me tell you where I'm coming from. All right. I've been following Liverpool since 19... about 1958-60. That's just about the time that they were actually getting into the what was then the first division. And then Bill Shankler came in and took over just after that. Okay? Yeah, yep. I have seen the team from, let's say, 1960 until now. I have seen the good times yeah. with the great teams. And I've seen the not-so-good times with the teams we've got now. Well, we're getting a lot better well, now. It's getting yeah, good now. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. That's more... And, you know, and, I, and I'm not faulting all the players. I spoke to you earlier today. I can show you a book of top-line soccer players that never made it at Liverpool because yeah. they didn't play the Liverpool way. Yeah. And unfortunately, if you're not playing the Liverpool way, you got to go. So... I am allowed to. I believe you, you, you have I am a, allowed you have to a fair rant. point. I'm allowed to. You're rant allowed to rant. I censor. I censor you quite a bit. Let me. Let me. Let me talk to Origi. He's good, by the way. You know he's good. Let and I talk, know your point. Let me talk to. And Origi. he's coming off the bench and he's scoring goals. No, but he started the last two games. He's got to pick it up a little. I agree. He's got to pick up his his running, and his general. Awareness? Or? Awareness. And his, uh, uh, time, his football mind? There's time that it looks like he's not in the game. He's sort of, I'll stand here and you kick the ball over and see if I can get it. He's not, he doesn't have that. He needed a bit of a spark. He doesn't, but have, gotta, the, he doesn't have the ability to interchange with the guys around him. He goes to oh. one post or the other. And he missed two open goals, Did let's he? face it, last I week. I missed the one you were ranting about, so I didn't even the see The ball him. comes to him. Instead of kicking it straight on, boom, yeah. he starts it, juggling it. Yeah, but he's been really good to get us. But he's only a young kid. He's a young kid. He's, he's been getting a lot of goals, and he, he's hardly played. But I, I mean, he's played, but he hasn't started but I feel, a lot of the time until recently. I feel I have a right Yeah, I know you do, but... To criticize. Okay, good, good. Now I want to I wanna touch on some other comments. So someone else says, Origi is good. Uh, his, uh, his name's Aaron Thomas. Uh, he says, Origi is good. I said, I know, Dad, my... I know, mate, my dad's too negative. I'll pin your comment. And then uh, Brascafarian replies, what's your definition of good? For me, it's the question of, do the center halves wish he wasn't on the team sheet? And I don't think he's there yet. Do the opponent center halves fear that he's on the team sheet? No, they like him being on that's the team right. sheet. That's right, that's the point. They so, can watch him. Right, What right. they can't do with the other two, and let's say with Stewage, when he's fit and playing, he moves. They move around so yeah, much. They can't follow him. He's he's got a lot more. But, 
aggression and speed. In but him. there's a point with Sturridge. He's great if he's not hurt. Yeah, well, we know that's another thing. Uh, Ian Law says he is average. His dad is right. Go get it. That's right. So That's and, a stuff for you, Ian. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, I, I would say I, I would say Origi's above average for his striking, but his his mobility and, and you know he's really got like I agree with your point that if that spot there if you're gonna want that spot and it's a rare you know prestigious spot even coming off the bench you know you had better if you don't hit any goals in you had better die trying and I think that's where what you're seeing is you're seeing that there's a lack of uh, not only speed but you know, can, it, I, can I just put another one in? Unfortunately little, for younger A little Rigi, more involvement. Unfortunately for him, when you've watched the team over the years with the like of Ian St. John, Roger Hunt, now I'm going back to the Sixers. Ian St. John, Roger Hunt, Kenny Dalgleish, um, Ian Rush, Mike Loyne. Yeah, I'll even use Mike Loyne, or I'm a bit <laughs> off with him. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I'm a bit off with Mike Loyne. He's a bit <laughs> of a trader still. <laughs> and then you've got also... Um, You've got Robbie Fowler. When you've got guys like that that have always been in front, it's pretty hard to say. I know. He gives a that's, good the, that's the bar. That's the that's standard. That's the bar. I know. But cons he considering, not, he, considering he's not typically a starter. And if, it, and if he was a high jump, he'd yeah. never get over the bar. Yeah, well, so a few other shout outs. Tony Stark says Origi is pointless. Sell him. Hasn't improved since, hasn't improved since last season. I've told you that. Yeah, well, hold on. And Peter Macier says Origi has potential to be a world class striker. So I mean, there is potential. With another team, you got maybe. two different comments. Now, okay, now this is what I wanted to say. This With is another the, team. Yeah, but this, he doesn't have the gumption to play the Liverpool way. Yeah. Well, this is what I wanted to touch upon, which is how much negativity is too much negativity. Now, now I, I will I will admit when a player is bad, you got to rip them, but you know. In Origi's case, you know, if you're Origi and you're watching our stuff, and you're thinking, man, I scored two goals the last two games before this one. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a little uh, un unfair in my opinion. That should say to him, well, geez, I'll score three next week. Yeah, well, you never know. I've, I would like to see an Origi hat trick, to be honest it's with you. It's the same. It's when with, uh, and we'll get to the, I guess what we're talking, he just, it's the same with Ronaldo. Three games in a row. He's made stupid passes that have led to goals for no, the other team. not three games in a row. Now you're just making no, stuff up. No, it's three games in a row. It was two. That's whatever. Well, it should He's have been. He's great. No, okay. <laughs> but for Mignolet, but for Mignolet on Saturday. Yeah, it was one mistake, it, but it he got the been. assist. We didn't realize well, he got the assist. But that doesn't matter. It does matter. He no, was a great doesn't. assist. Even if he didn't, he's been sensational. If he's playing for our team and playing Listen, in the You're center, wrong. About, how many videos he, do we have to have? If he's playing in the middle of the... If he is playing in the central of the field... And he gets balls like that. Knowing the forwards we have on, good, it's his job to get those balls through to the forwards. Yeah. That's his job, getting those passes over. What he doesn't have is screwing his neck and heading it back towards the goal so no, they no. get it. Come on, you're, no. you're, you're cherry-picking one, one mistake. He's done Any, he, anyway. he hasn't been up to So you're, you're wrong he's, about one album. He's played better, but he hasn't played up to scrap he, all he, season. No, he's been good all season. No, he hasn't. He's been great. Now, this is the other thing. You're, when we were really hot at the beginning of the season, people don't see all the rants I see. You're, all, you're negative on Mane sometimes. And there's no reason to be... Even when we were at its best, you still found reasons. To get there, so you do you do overdo it. I see it. No, uh, trust me, you do overdo it. Uh, but as I far guess, as Origi goes, you have a fair point. I guess well, what annoys me is you see guys with the ball, and okay, I'm watching on TV on the big screen. I can see the obvious moves. They go playing around with it, and they don't see the obvious moves. And like you get a breakaway, you've got either a left or right pass, yeah. and the guy on the left is wide open. The fool tries to dribble it and loses it totally. You've got to be. You've got to have a football brain. Yeah, I, I think Origi's getting there. I he's he's performed. You can't fault him for not banging in goals and coming off the bench. And some of his goals have been key goals. Yeah. You know, he was. Remember the Borussia Dortmund comeback? He got the first goal. Oh yes. Okay. I'll give you see, you forget yes. that. Yeah, no, I didn't forget it. The cracker against uh, Southampton, six-one. But as a centre forward. And he's, as a centre forward, He's got a lot. I want to see him cracking them in like Firmino uh, did on Saturday. Well, I does, as long as it goes in. But I think what we have to see with the Rigi is he's going to have to run his ass off. He's not if running he can, If he can do that, and he can be fast, because even when you said he wasn't fast, he, 
he burned you in that video. See, he was fast. I also had my comments about Chan at the earlier this season. And look what happened. And he's got look at well, me with he's Chan and Lucas, and then they go on he's fire. He's obviously been listening to me. That's why I'm trying to. <laughs> Honorable son of Charlie why, Chan, so, he's doing well now. That's why I want to see how Origi does in the next match. But I, my thing is, I think it's okay to rant at times. But I don't think I don't think it's good for see, the club. I no, know I don't think it's good for the club. I know this is Dad's corner, but hold on. I I don't think slate, it's good for the club. You slate to, Luke. You slate Lucas. Yeah. He's been our best defender some days. I know. I know. And I apologize. Made, but he's made some stupid passes too. Yeah, he does. So right. And uh, what do I do? Yeah. I tell him what I think You're, about it. Yeah, him. yeah. I think you know what like. It's okay to have a critical point of view, but there's a difference between the difference between being critical and being negative. And I think I think your negative. problem is is you get there's certain players where you have a freeze no. frame of one match from six no. months ago, no. and you no. never no. liked them from that moment, and you you over criticize. No, no, yeah, no, no, that's no. my opinion on Dad's corner. That's the intervention, but you raise some great points, and and. Uh, I just think that we gotta support our guys. I'm supporting. That's why. Them. That's why I know you are. That's but I'm saying more positively, but not that guy, negative criticism can't be positive because sometimes it can be, but I'm just saying that I think it's not good for the, you know, I don't know if it's just team psychology, fan psychology, but the more positive, the better when you can. So I I think you know that's why I try to hold off about who who should you sell, who should you do this, what do you think. Till the off season. Do you want me to tell you who we should? No, sell? we're not doing that. There's no. But remember, we were we were. How many times did we complain about Henderson? And then he has a great season aside from being injured. So no, we gotta. And now we have Klopp. No, it's a different team now. Players are shining more. Lallana's on fire. Because like crazy. Okay, let's go back to Henderson. I used to rip Lallana. The only reason Henderson is doing well now. Is because he's been assimil well, he's, he's been assimilated into Cop's way of doing Klopp's. the club. Klopp's. Klopp's well, the cop as well. The cop, I know. He's been assimilated into Klopp's way of doing things. Yeah. Yeah. You see, and once you all do what he wants you to do, then then yeah. But I don't. Anderson's think, good now. I don't think good. Chan and Origi. That's what happened to Benteke. Yeah, but Ben Teke was putting no, in goals. Yes, but it was a. I agree. Yes, but ben I know Teke, it was a. It was ben a stagnant Teke, offense. Ben Teke, I, I agree. Ben Teke had decided that no matter what Klopp told him, he was not going to adapt to the Liverpool way of doing things. Well, I don't think it was that. Oh, it was. It I was just think. It, I, I think it's just the type of player. Well, that's right. Uh, you got to remember, and that's another point. We're not there. We're not in the team meetings. We're not on the training ground. We only see the match, which well, is enough fault, to criticize. Whose fault is but that? But we don't know what's going on. So we, does anybody out there people reach all the time with their comments. there's anybody out there watching, yeah. you tell Mr. Klopp, I'm willing to come down every, any, any time on the game time and stand beside you, tell you which, what should happen. Yeah, I don't, I, think he, I don't think he needs us too much there, Dad. But I'm quite willing to come and stand yeah. on the sideline and tell you what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're That's right. It. We are too negative at times. At I, times, we've got to work I, on it. Now... Anyways, I I feel uh, you know what our chances of top four are pretty good right now, and we yeah. addressed we addressed the this whole situation. Well, I think Arsenal are out of it. Let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah. If you look at the if you look at the if you look at the um, standings standings, Man United can tie us on points, yeah. but they're they're going to drop matches. But we have. But we will have to keep our goal difference up. Yeah. We cannot lose a game or tie we'll a game. Be, we'll be good. In. We're going to be fine. You know, we've got to hope too that maybe next week when they play City in a week or a couple of weeks, even though it would put City above us and move us to fourth, I would like City to beat United then there another four points away. Yeah, from just us. to kind of seal the deal. Just to seal the deal a little bit. Yeah, a little but bit, I yeah. think. But what I also like, although people criticised on Saturday. He put the two kids on. Yeah. Then instead of using the kids, he got his defense to start playing long ball. Long ball to Origi. And it doesn't work. You can't play long ball to Origi. I mean, they were trying it for a but, while. Woodburn tried. But I mean, you yes. But here's the thing. Woodburn made two horrible passes because of his nerves. We didn't well, get on hell, him. so did. What's that guy? Uh, so did I mean, I, rate, I rated uh, Woodburn lower than Origi. No, but what I'm saying is what we have to work right? for. What we have to work for, which... And I love Woodburn. Which some of the dreaded teams that I hate, that other red team, 
<laughs> and Man City. The false reds? The, the, false fake, the reds, fake reds? And Man City and in some acts Tottenham and Chelsea. When they're not working at half time, he has players on the bench that can yeah. come in and boost the team. Now, as Luckwood had it this year. But Rigi's been like that, though. No, and this, look at, as Luckwood had it on Saturday. We had Coutinho well, of course, and Firmino two, on the bench. Two all-stars. So yeah. what we need is, in this next window, is while they're on the pitch, we want two players on the bench, or two or three players on the bench, mm -hmm. that almost of equal standard of them, then can come in when they're not doing oh, it. Oh, it would be great to have that, but you can't play that's with, not always an easy reality. We can't play with what, team. It's shown the last few weeks, we can't play with what we've got. Well, we are injured too, right? I mean, see, that's the other thing. We're, we're we're hitting the guys when they're down. Injuries happen, right? We it, everybody goes crazy, and we all criticize. I do rant no. videos, but no. I mean, it's not all. But I agree. That that being said, no excuses, and we we got to get results, and, yes, like and we are getting results. We are in third. Manny's out for the year. Doing now. well. Yeah, Manny's out for the. Year. That was just unfortunate. Yeah. You know, Lalana's out longer than I thought he would be, and yeah. Henderson. Yeah. I know. I'm frightened of Henderson. If his heel doesn't get... Because he's had this heel on and off. I know. If he doesn't get better, heaven forbid, he might be out of football. Yeah, I, hope, I hope not. I, I, well, I, I hope, hope not. I hope he's 100% next year somehow. Well, I hope he's 100% before the end of the season. Well, that would be amazing, you know. But So I guess that's it. We covered a lot of territory today. We yeah. got some shout-outs in there. Yeah. We did well. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. You guys take care and uh, go get it, baby. Go get it. <laughs>